let's make a delicious and affordable Easter dinner. So in the bowl of my stand mixer, I have one and a quarter cups of warm water, a quarter cup of sugar, and then two tablespoons of active dry yeast. However, I only had the packets on hand for active dry, and so I did two packets, and it is a little bit less than two tablespoons, and so they might not be as fluffy as they're supposed to be, but maybe I'll let them proof a little bit longer. So that is supposed to sit only like two to five minutes, and then we're going to do three and three quarter cups of flour, a third cup, it said vegetable oil, but I'm going to try avocado oil just because we tried to avoid vegetable oil when we can. And then I think a teaspoon of salt and an egg. This looks foamy enough. I'm going to start adding um, my ingredients. And it said to add the flour one cup at a time. I added the egg, oil, salt, and one cup of flour. So now I'm going to get that kneading. And then I'll continue to add the flour in a cup at a time. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you that I lost count of how much flour I put in because my one cup measuring spoon is dirty and so I was using a half a cup. And then I forgot if I had done four or if I'd done six. And I think I've done six now, but it just seems so wet. So I'm just adding like another quarter cup and we'll see if it starts. I know it's supposed to be a sticky dough, but that seems too sticky. Okay, I know I've at least put the amount of flour I'm supposed to put. Maybe I've put too much. I don't know. The directions say to spray your hands with the cooking spray and then roll them in two balls and to spray your 9 by 13 uh, baking dish. So I am going, it says to roll these into 15 individual balls and then um, cover them with a towel. And then you're supposed to set this on top of the oven while the oven preheats to 375 and it says to uh, let it sit for 20 minutes on top of the oven. This video is quickly turning into a how not to make dinner rolls video <laughs> but I clearly rolled them too big. I did not get 15. I only got 11 but that's okay. So I'm going to cover them with this a dish rag and then set them on top of the oven while the oven preheats to 375. And it says to let them sit for 20 minutes, but I'm probably gonna do 30, just to give them a little bit more time since I don't have as much yeast as I'm supposed to have. Whoa, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put these in the oven. It says 20 minutes or until the tops are golden brown. And then afterwards you'd brush them with melted butter. I had them bake about 24 minutes just cause they're so big. And then I'll let them cool before I try and separate them. I had to move these to a different pan so I could wash my uh, 9 by 13 from my casserole for dinner. But I'm actually very impressed with these rolls and how they turned out. I know I was doubtful there, but they just, they, this pulled apart so easily, you don't need to cut them to separate them. They remind me of the King's Hawaiian rolls and the texture on them is just great. You could use this recipe and make like sliders, like when people cut the tops off and then make like ham and cheese sliders and things like that. So I'll definitely be making these again. Other than the fact that I obviously made them way too big, which maybe you like that. <laughs> so maybe you want them big, but other than that, pretty easy recipe and delicious and came together really fast. Our main dish is going to be a ham and potato casserole. We need two cups of cooked cubed potatoes and then two cups of cooked cubed ham. So we need to get that started first. I'll get my potatoes peeled and chopped and boiling. And while they're boiling, I will cut up my ham. Do we think four potatoes is way more than two cups? <laughs> it probably is, but I figure it's easier to take away than add, and potatoes are so cheap that I'll just make extra and then I'll get, I'll measure out two cups. I just quartered the potatoes and um, I'll boil them and then I'll let them cool and I'll cut them further. So I have my potatoes and ham. I probably have a little bit closer to three cups of each. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna saute about 
it says a tablespoon. I did a little bit more than a tablespoon, but about a tablespoon worth of chopped onion in a quarter cup of butter. So we'll saute this for two minutes and then we will add in a third cup of flour and one and three quarter cups of milk and an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper and just make, cook that down and make that into a roux. So it's coming to a boil and we want to let it boil for two minutes. Okay, I've turned it off and now I am going to pour this over our potatoes and ham and stir that in. And it's supposed to get a quarter cup of fresh parsley. I don't have that, so I'm just going to use about a tablespoon of dried parsley. Greased my pan. You can either, you can also use an 11 by 7, but I only have a 9 by 13. So I'm going to cover this with foil and bake it in the oven at 350 degrees for 25 minutes. Then I'll take the foil off and sprinkle a cup of shredded cheddar over top and then bake it five more minutes just to melt the cheese. I'm going to make some asparagus to go with this. And did you guys know the trick? Instead of cutting off the ends, you bend it. And then wherever it um, like breaks off is the tough part. So that's a lot. It's a little asparagus trick for you. deviled eggs, asparagus, the rolls we made earlier, and then this strawberry cream pie is in the video that I posted before this one. I will link it in the description box, but it's the Easter desserts recipes video where I did a couple different desserts that would be fun for Easter. And then our ham and potato casserole. And there is a fun and budget-friendly Easter dinner. That dinner really does feel special and it is so inexpensive to make. The ham is $6 and then other than that, we made the rolls ourselves and then the eggs and potatoes. So it's a really good option for an Easter dinner. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. It really does help out my channel a lot and I'll see you all next time.